this is Beth Nielsen from SheCrochet.com and today we're continuing our Tunisian crochet tutorial series with the Tunisian knit stitch. Uh, now this is a really cool stitch because it's almost indistinguishable from a stockinette stitch in knitting, uh, but it produces a fabric that's more dense and more durable. It's also fantastic for color work. I can't wait to show you how to do it, so let's get started. For the Tunisian knit stitch, we are going to begin by chaining, let's say, 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we pull up a loop in our chain. So I'm going in the second chain from the hook. I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to leave it on the hook. And you just do that all the way down the row. Okay, so that's our forward pass. For our return pass, uh, this is the same as uh, the Tunisian simple stitch. Uh, we yarn over and pull through one, and we yarn over and pull through two, all the way to the end of the row. And this is the standard return pass. Okay, so for the knit stitch, we're going to go not here, uh, like for the simple stitch, but through this and then to the back, and then pull up a loop. Now if you take a close look at this, you can see uh, that there's a little loop here uh, made from the forward pass. In the return pass, you kind of uh, secure the top of the loops. Uh, so you just go in that loop for the Tunisian knit stitch. Uh, I'll put these back on my hook. And you just go in that loop, pull up a loop. So behind the vertical bar and to the back, and pull up a loop. Just keep doing that all the way down the row. And this creates a crochet stitch that is almost indistinguishable from a stockinette stitch in knitting. So keep going all the way down the row. Catch that one uh, to make the nice braid on the side. Seem to have a problem with my yarn here. And now the standard return pass. So yarn over through one, yarn over through two, all the way down. Now it's kind of hard to tell the pattern that it's making, so let's do another row to the back. Drop a loop. All the way down. Uh, this is a really bulky stitch. It's good for bags, um, belts, um, anything where you need something really sturdy and uh, durable. Return pass through two. Okay. 
Okay. So what we have now is the Tunisian knit stitch, which if you can see, looks just like a stockinette stitch. Uh, there's so many cool things you can do with this. This is a great way to use color. Um, I'll show you how to do that next time, but here's a preview. This is my Ibsen clutch that I made with the Tunisian knit stitch and several different colors. Um, it's actually the same color that I use today. Um, it's really easy and really beautiful to do color work this way. Uh, and as you can see, it's really hard to tell the difference from knitting. Um, but the fabric is more bulky and more durable um, and, and more dense. So that's the Tunisian knit stitch. Uh, join us next week and we'll learn how to do it with color.